Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Tucker and Crowley Report. We're part of News Now and the Belmont Journal. Franklin Tucker, editor of the Belmontonian, is with us again today, and I'm Mike Crowley. It's the end of summer, and school has started, but for many of the school buildings, they're also closed. Today. What's, what's today, happening, <laughs> Today, Franklin? Friday. Well, we uh, opened the schools. Uh, it was a great day. Um, very hot. Uh, everybody was sweating. We had an outdoor, we had an outside uh, uh, ceremony for uh, ribbon cutting for okay. the uh, new middle and uh, high school. And that's what we have. We no longer call it Belmont High School. We now call it Belmont Middle and High School. We also okay. have a new name for the Chenery, which is the Chenery Upper Elementary School, because they're going to be, they're going to have um, uh, six through, uh, four through four six. through six. And the elementary schools will, will actually lose a grade, but make but we'll have more um, uh, space for um, uh, kids over at the at the four elementary schools. Um, it, it, like I said, it was a great day. Um, uh, Bill Valo, who was sweating as much as I was, <laughs> um, uh, he was he, he was the master of ceremony as as the head of the building committee, and um, he just basically had really a great set of highlights, you know. And um, the the school is on time and on budget. Um, it is a little bit out of whack, the budget, because... What's, what's out of whack about the budget? Well, it's, well as you know, uh, Belmont uh, uh, partnered with the Massachusetts uh, 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 School Building Authority right. um, uh, back in uh, 2018. Which was going to cover about 25% of the cost. That's right. Well, it seems like uh, the, the, the authority is now disputing some of the costs that was, that was uh, made, that, you know, that uh, the school, that school building uh, committee um, uh, authorized. And they said, oh, maybe these weren't uh, appropriate you know, for our reimbursement. So it's come down to about $1.9 million. You know that that will be settled some way. You know, hopefully uh, uh, we can convince uh, uh, the town can convince um, the the state that they they were appropriate uh, costs. Uh, and if and if it's not, you know, then you know the, the town will have to um, um, have to basically pay that one point nine, nearly two million dollars. But when you consider it, you know that's less than one percent of the school. And you know you only need to, to go down uh, to Stoneham, Massachusetts, where they're building a new school. And halfway through uh, the construction, they found out they're twenty million dollars in debt. So it's it's a lot different than what what a lot of communities are going through. So they did a you know the building committee did a great job. Um, it was very transparent. Over one hundred almost one hundred and seventy uh, public meetings, um, and uh, everybody should be proud. If there's going to be a, a, a official dedication of the new school, uh, if the four hundred the four hundred and fifty thousand square foot uh, school um, uh, sometime in October where there'll be tours and things like that. Please, please go to it. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful building. I've been inside. You'd be amazed. It's, it's a great building. We'll only have to replace it, what, 20 years from now? <laughs> they <laughs> um, say 50, but... All right. Well, thank you, Franklin. Um, the, the select board held a public forum on uh, the abandonment of civil service for is it police and fire? Just police. Just police. Um, what what's what what's the rationale for that? And and tell tell us about the public forum. Uh, well, like like you said, we had a, uh, there was a public forum on uh, Thursday, um, and it uh, it was held by, by the select board and the police chief uh, Jamie McIsaacs, um, and it is a, a request of something that. Uh, 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 Jamie has been uh, discussing since about 2016, and the, and the town has also been very supportive of what he's looking to do, and uh, that is to remove Belmont from the remove, remove the Belmont Police Department from civil service. That's that's been a it's it's about 100 more than 100 years old civil service. It was it was it was made uh, with good intentions you know, uh, to protect workers from from patronage and and. And, and other, you know, abuses. You so, couldn't so fire people. You know, you'd have to go through a process. So, so what's the reason, Franklin, for for leaving civil service? Well, it's pretty. It's 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 an arcane system, and it also prevents Belmont from really looking looking out uh, for uh, uh, looking out um, 
it, it would it would basically make Belmont a, a part of a free market system of hiring. You know, you no longer would have to take a, a, a specific list that is uh, regulated by the state, you know, and um, like right now, B B Belmont is trying to hire four, pe four people to be a, a police officer. And this is something that's been ongoing for about four or five years. And basically, you know, they, they've only been able to hire one person a year. It's just not, it's just not doing anything for Belmont. Now, if you look at other towns, Lexington, uh, they, they got out of the system back in 20, 2019. Now they, they 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 were in the same situation as Belmont. They could never hire enough people. After that, they're now hired. They've now fully staffed, and they have. Um, and 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 there's another thing for that. It's just not hiring. It's also if you're looking to diversify your um, um, uh, police force um, um, uh, uh, for for race or sex. Um, you you really are stuck with a civil service because you know you, they it really pre prevents you uh, as a town to go out and seek somebody who is uh, maybe w willing to come to Belmont who, of, you know, uh, uh, and, and, and increase the diversity. We had, there was a person from the uh, uh, diversity task force um, who said, you know, he worked in uh, civil rights um, um, enforcement uh -huh. in New York city about 30 years ago. And he said, if somebody came up with, uh, with what, you know, came up and said, Hey, Bel this is what Belmont has in terms of diversity and, um, and uh, it's it's seeking, you know, whether it's seeking, you know, new people. He said, oh, it, this would easily be a case again, you know, brought by the uh, brought by the federal government. You could bring a case against a town like that. Well, so let me ask you this, Franklin. Um, you know, there, there, there are some residents who who feel that um, um, or have, have expressed opinions that, um, you, you know, before abandoning civil service, um, Belmont ought to be negotiating the replacement for civil service is 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 that a wrong way of looking at things it's it's one way of looking at things but you also, you also have to think that um that process of you know figuring out how that's going to be done you know what you're going to have to prevent you know to how belmont will go forward after civil service that's negotiated with the uh, patrolman's union but why isn't why isn't that negotiated beforehand? Because that's not how it's done. that's not how it's done. You're you're negotiating as a town, as a town. You're saying, okay, we we're going to give you this, and the patrolmen say, okay, we want this. So so it's a, it's a negotiation. It's something that happens every day, you know, in in in, in labor and, ma and town management across the country. Um, it just seems a little bit, you know. I think a lot of people who heard people making this statement, they, they think it's, you know, I, I, th I think they're trying to be fair to the to police officers. The police officers will be fair to themselves as they go into negotiation. That's what, you know, that's how it usually is done. Why are you, you know, are you a member of the union, of the police patrolman's union? Are you trying to help them out? You don't have to. They can negotiate. They're they're adults. You know, so, so they can right. negotiate with the town and figure out, and and it will take you know a year or year and a half to to do it. But that's how it's you know that's how it usually is done. So so Franklin, it's clear that the 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 the, the chief of police Jamie McIsaac, um, supports uh, uh, abandoning the union. I'm sorry, not the union. <laughs> the the, civil service. Civil service. But do do we know what what the Patrolmen's Association are, are they on record as supporting this, yes. this move? Yeah, what they said is that when when it was described how how you know the town would negotiate what a, a new uh, system would be, um, the, the head of their union said, "Yeah, we can do that." You know, it it wasn't as you know it wasn't um, as contentious as it was back in twenty twenty when okay. you know when the last time. Uh, uh, um, the town attempted to place a um, civil service reform or, or abandonment, like you said, uh, uh, before town meeting. But they uh, quickly uh, took that off the uh, uh, took that off the agenda because they knew they were going to get uh, beaten on that. So um, it, it just it, you know it, it is a very you know, let, let's go back to employment, um, and I think uh, Jamie McIsaac said it. Uh, uh, perfectly, you know, he when he was hired, there were twelve other people in the in, who were hired around the same time with him. They're all nearing retirement, so 
when you think about retirement injuries, people leaving for another department, he says, we're not going to have a situation where we're going to have four. We're going to be looking for four people. We're going to be looking for 12, 15. And if we, if it's still civil service, you know, we can't go up to civil service and say, hey, give us more. They're just going to go, these are the people who want to come to Belmont. You negotiate with them. And, you know, just because they want to come to Belmont doesn't mean they're going to sign a contract with us. He says, when that happens, you're going to lose a functioning police force. Okay, so so what what are the plans for uh, what are the plans for for uh, removing civil service going forward? Then it is it, 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 uh, the the select board is going to have to decide in the next few weeks whether they want to place a, um, a, a an article uh, before special town meeting, and that will happen in uh, November, um, or uh, leaving that till uh, the annual town meeting. But Jamie McIsaac says, we need to do this now. You know, we can't continue to have three or four or five people, you know, uh, the, the police force being four or five people down, because that means uh, people are forced to take overtime. You know, patrolmen have to force to take overtime. It's expensive and it's you just can't run a department that way. Franklin, we'll see what happens. Well, that's what, you know, that you, it, it will be interesting to see how, you know, once the... Uh, once all the uh, 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 once everything comes out uh, before the public, how they're going to react to this, you know. And I will say this: well, some people are are they just they want to help. They don't want to abandon. They abandon the uh, patrolmen. You know, they 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 they're very they they want to do good for for uh, for for the for the patrolmen, and that's why they want to have more information. Let's say there are some people who are just outright. Um, they just don't like the current um, town management, and it is you know uh, uh, at the uh, at the, at the public forum. I mean, one of the leaders of of of, um, uh, of this group basically said so. You know, it was not you know it was like I don't trust what what you're doing, even though town management for the last four years have negotiated what six seven contracts. And no one complained then. <laughs> All right, Franklin. So, so um, let's move back to schools. Mm -hmm. Belmont High School um, is is ranked uh, fairly well in new rankings. That's tell, right. Tell us about it. The famous U.S. News and World Report high school rankings that come out every year. Everybody loves reading them um, for one reason or another. And Belmont came in in, in the top uh, two percent. Uh, uh, this is among public high schools. This is public high schools across the country. There's about eighteen thousand, and Belmont was about two hundred and fifty. So it was just one of the, you know, it just shows a, a great deal of, uh, uh, it shows that Belmont has a great foundation. You know, a, a lot of what is, uh, was um, in part of the, um, the uh, you know, uh, how they figured this out was, you know, how many AP courses ta people take and how prepared are they for going to college and graduation rates and things like that. And one thing that was very interesting is that um, of these 18, of, 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 the, of all the schools in the, in the country, uh, public schools in the country, uh, Belmont is considered one of the best STEM schools, um, the science, technology, whatever the E is, <laughs> engineering, I guess, <laughs> and uh, mathematics. It's one of the highest in the country, and it's a it's a real um, um, honor to have that because you know uh, number one, not all schools can be a STEM school, and it's in you know one of the top fifty in in the country. So that's another thing that we can um, that Belmont can uh, uh, pride itself in. So it's amazing that we continue to do well mm -hmm. um, comparatively with. Uh, um, with our school system? Well, yeah, with, with the school system, but also, you know, you have to realize that uh, the, the schools that were um, in front or, you know, valued, uh, you know, deemed in front of us, let's say, mm -hmm. you know, because this is just a kind of a, sur it's a survey. It's yeah. really not a, 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 a truly academic study. Um, you know, many of those are, are, are uh, um, uh, academic schools of, that are, you know, uh, with a very strict, you know, um, re they, they recruit their students, they're very strict, you know, who can go into it. There's, they're science-based. So, so many of these are, are, are not just ordinary public schools. That's right. But, it, but, it, but spe specialist schools attracting top talent within the, within certain districts. That's, that's correct. It is uh, something that um, uh, you see a lot, like I said, down South, 
basic schools in Arizona. Um, and it's just focused on, on, on certain subjects, math, science, and, and they recruit. It's, 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 mo it's a lot like Boston Latin. You, 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 you have to take a test to get in. So when you consider that Belmont can just, you know, we'll take anybody <laughs> who lives in the town. That's a, it's a, it's a great, uh, it's a, uh, it's a great thing. All right, Franklin, thank you so much. And you can see more of Franklin's reporting at belmontonian.com. Be sure to watch us next time and we will see you then.